Welcome to Royal Secrets. After criticism about the new titles, Prince William and Kate advised cutting back on frills and faff. A petition calling for the abolition of the Prince of Wales title has amassed close to 36,000 signatures online. Following criticism of their new titles, Kate, Princess of Wales and Prince William have been advised to trim back on superfluous frills and faff. Following the passing of the Queen and the coronation of King Charles III as the new ruler of the realm, the royal couple have assumed the titles of Prince and Princess of Wales. William and Kate have already gotten started in their new positions, making their first official trip to Wales by traveling to the island of Anglesey. But there has recently been a fierce backlash, with a Change.org online petition calling for the abolition of the Prince of Wales title, garnering close to 36,000 signatures. According to reports, William has no plans for any form of an investiture like the one held earlier this month for his father King Charles III. At a time when millions of Britons are dealing with the cost of living problem, Ahmed Scobie, the royal executive editor for Yahoo! News, has encouraged the pair to make a determined effort to ensure the monarchy does not seem grossly out of touch. He stated, Along with the visit, officials also announced that William had no intention of performing the same lavish investiture that his father conducted in 1969, when he was made the Prince of Wales. Welsh people, who are all too familiar with the extravagant ceremony at Carnarfon Castle, during which the Queen adorned Charles with a gold coronet and swathed him in sumptuous robes, eagerly greeted the news. It was so negatively received during a time of economic hardship in the nation that there were protests and even a bomb plot. Scobie continued. The royal family's ostentatious display of wealth and power is a moment no one is looking to repeat, given the conflicting reactions some people in the nation still have to William and Kate's new titles, over 35,000, have signed a petition calling to end the Prince of Wales moniker, branding it a symbol of historical oppression. Cutting back on unnecessary frills and faff should be part of a concerted effort to ensure that the monarchy does not seem grossly out of touch, the author continued. This is especially true given the UK's ongoing cost of living crisis, which this week saw the Bank of England warn of a significant interest rate rise and the British pound hitting a record low against the US dollar. Unlike when Charles received the title during an event at Carnarfon Castle in July 1969, it was revealed this week that the Prince of Wales has no plans to hold an investiture ceremony to formally mark gaining his new title. I, Charles, Prince of Wales do become your liege man of life and limb, he swore to his mother during the ceremony as she placed a coronet on his head and assisted in wrapping robes around his shoulders. But it is claimed that William is now just concerned in gradually earning the people of Wales trust and respect, rather than holding an investiture ceremony. The new Princess of Wales understands the heritage connected with this post, but will obviously want to look to the future as she forges her own path, a royal insider stated following the Queen's passing. The new Prince of Wales spoke with Welsh First Minister Mark Drakeford over the phone in the days following the Queen's passing and expressed his great passion for Wales. William, who lived on Anglesey with wife Kate and also served as an RAF search and rescue helicopter pilot, expressed his and the Princess of Wales' honour in being asked by the King to serve the Welsh people. This week, a couple representative stated. Right now, they are focused on gradually building the trust and respect they have with the people of Wales. William chatted with Reverend Stephen Bunting from St Thomas Church during the couple's trip to Swansea on Tuesday, and he expressed confidence in their level of dedication to their duty as the Prince and Princess of Wales. Rev. Bunting stated to the PAW News organization. We already know that they adore Wales, but having them here has been wonderful and, in my opinion, is a positive indication of their devotion to the country. Speaking to everyone, young and old, has astounded us and demonstrates their dedication to their position as Prince and Princess of Wales. The Prince of Wales even mentioned learning Welsh, claiming to have picked up words like pained, which means cup of tea, and bar a brith. He seems to be taking his role as Prince of Wales extremely seriously.